Hi, I'm George Cow, and there was a question that I asked myself, and that I encourage you to ask yourself, that radically changed and improved the way that I deliver my message and the passion with which I deliver it. And the question is, as you see here on the screen, if I had just one year left to live, what are the most important lessons that I would teach? And from reflecting on this question, I created the outline of a curriculum that I'm about to start teaching. And I'm going to be teaching it completely for free. Now, I would have sold this curriculum years ago. The first five years of my business, I sold curriculums like this for $2,000 per sale if they came with my personalized support or $700 if it did not come with my personalized support. And so now I have, if you know anything about my story, you know that I made a transition in the past three years to giving away all of my content and only charging for one-to-one -one business and marketing coaching. So everything, the, 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 the curriculum, the content, all the content that I used to sell, I'm now giving away for free. And now I am doing a completely new version of my very best content based on reflecting on this question of if I had one year left to live, what are the most important things I could teach? So um, I invite you to take this curriculum and really apply it because I believe it will allow you to build your own authentic business with more ease, <clears throat> with more grace, with more effectiveness to be able to live your calling with more enjoyment and with more consistency and courage. I have spent the last seven years full-time teaching and coaching hundreds of clients and thousands of audience members, most of whom were solopreneurs, service, service providers, coaches, consultants, counselors, authors, and those who yearn to build an authentic business. So based on all of that experience, I'm putting my best lessons into this curriculum. Now, I'm going to be writing a book based on this curriculum that I'm teaching over the next 10 months. And I would love to have case studies for that book that come from the people who are applying this newest version of my curriculum. So perhaps that's you. So if you are willing to take this curriculum seriously and apply it, and whenever you come across a problem, a challenge, a question, a block, a doubt okay, that you cannot solve, I invite you to ask a friend or a colleague and to see if they can help you work through that block or question. Or you can comment on the curriculum itself, you will see as you go through the curriculum, there will be places for you to comment. And I invite you to comment if you would like to make a public comment and ask your question. And I will be looking at these questions and comments on a regular basis. And I will be doing my best to answer them. <clears throat> and others who are also applying the curriculum may be able to help you as well answer the, the questions. So engage with this curriculum use it, apply it, and get all of your questions answered. Do not let any block stop you. Do not let overwhelm stop you. Engage with the people who are, who are also taking this curriculum and ask your questions and let me help you if I possibly can. So let me take a few minutes to walk you through the outline of the curriculum to describe why I structured it in this certain way. So first of all, we start with creating content, okay? Now, why do we start here? It's because if you want to create an authentic business, if you want a true livelihood, it begins with you sharing the message that is already within you, that is already from your own life experience, from your own studies. You don't need to study more. You don't need to get yet another certification to be able to create an authentic business from your own existing experience and your own existing um, knowledge that you already have. So creating content, which is 
things like writing or speaking or making videos or posting on social media. This activity allows you to discover what that content within you is. What is that message? What is your niche? What is the messaging uh, of how you want to describe what you want to offer the world? Some people, they spend years, and maybe this has been true for you, they spend years what I doing what I call navel gazing, really just journaling and trying to figure it out in their own room, you know, um, what is their niche? What is the perfect message they need to spread? And then they launch with that perfect message. Well, let me tell you that I have seen a different way work a lot better, which is to let your audience tell you what your niche is. And the only way to let your audience tell you what your niche is, is to create content from whatever you already know. It can be on a wide variety of topics, but as you share your message, whatever you want to say, okay, doesn't matter if tens of thousands of people have already said it, the, the world needs to hear it with your voice, with your experience, with your personality and your unique style and your values and your, from your life, okay? So as you share your message as generously as possible, in the ways that come naturally for you, and that's we'll talk about in the creating content module, the different ways to share your message, and you can experiment with them to find out what comes naturally to you. And so as you share your message, you're going to start drawing your initial audience members to you. Some of them may initially be your friends and family and colleagues, maybe. But certainly as you post it online, people will find you and start to follow you. So you'll start drawing an initial audience, which then allows you to go to the next stage, which is to optimize your offerings. As you have an initial audience, you can then begin to engage with them to discover, to, to discover who they are, okay, and what they are really needing and wanting, and what their buying behavior is. What are they spending money on and wishing to spend money on? This will take place through one-to-one -one conversations you have with them. And this will, and perhaps surveys that you post on social media and elsewhere, that will then help you to shape an offering, a product or a service or a package or a program, okay, that will be the right fit for your audience and people like them. Once you know what their buying behavior is, once you have allowed them to help you shape your niche by seeing as you share lots of content, what engages them the most? What are they most interested in what you're saying, okay, of the things you're saying? What are they most interested in? Then you opt, then you straight shape your offerings, you optimize it based on your conversations with them. And then you can go to the next stage, which is to sell honorably, to sell your offerings honorably. Uh, as you may know, if you have followed any of my content, I believe in authentic marketing not doing any means possible to get people to spend money, but rather to never let go of your highest values, which is, I believe, the common higher, one of the common higher values that you and I share as human beings, as spiritual beings, in a, having a human experience. One of our higher common values is that of service. So instead of trying to get people to buy instead of trying to manipulate them for what's good for them okay we don't have to do that we instead come from a place of service and as you come from a place of service you build a ton you build lots of goodwill okay and that will allow you to sell honorably you will find people for whom your service is actually perfect and at that point you no longer have to sell you are simply finding the fit and sharing sharing what you truly believe is a is a service to them it becomes a cause okay and as you are going through this this process of creating content optimizing offerings and selling honorably you must know that good marketing and good business is about experimenting continuously so the next module is a reminder 
that in your journey of creating an authentic business, it is not always a straight single path up and up and up like this. You will have peaks and valleys as anything that's worth doing in life. It's not simple and easy and it takes no thinking and no failure because if it took no thinking and no failure at all, it, you would have already done it and it wouldn't feel truly worthwhile to do and it truly wouldn't grow you. You would not become a better person. To truly grow means to experience so-called failure and learn from that. And that's why having the experimentation mindset is incredibly important to have an authentic and successful business. And then the next module is where we'll talk about networking generously. Creating an authentic business is not a one person job. It is an effort of creating relationships with prospective clients, with clients, and, and especially with colleagues, what I call niche mates. Okay. Niche mates. Some people call them competitors. I prefer the term niche mates. These are, these are other service providers and business owners who share the same niche that you do. It could be that they have the same audience that you do, or it could be that they sell the same kind of product or service that you do, but to a different audience. Or it could be that they sell the same kind of service you do to the same audience. There is no fear or intimidation when it comes to networking with niche mates because your niche mates are either your best mirrors from whom you can learn the most about what works in marketing in your niche and what doesn't work, or they could be your best teachers. Okay, so they, so I'm sorry, I should say, as a mirror, they are your best teachers, or they could be your best partners, which is that they could refer business to you that is not the perfect fit for them, okay, and you refer business to them, and you will be helping each other grow together, okay, instead of trying to grab and, and fight for a limited piece of a pie, you are actually making the entire pie growing it together bigger and bigger so that there is more of a market for everyone. Truly, I have discovered that, that when you are willing to come from a collaboration mindset, that is what true abundance is. You will find opportunities everywhere and people are helping each other out and business is so much more authentic and fun. So we'll talk about the ways to network generously and how to use social media to do that, etc. in that module. The next module is where we talk about joyful productivity. How do you work joyfully? Because by this point of applying the curriculum, you will have a lot to do. Okay, so how do we manage our time in a way that still feels spacious, that is focused on the most important things we can do, the things that are really most for us to do in this life? And to outsource the things that are not for us to do in an affordable and effective way. So we'll talk about time management, organizing information. Uh, how do we, how do we keep a joyful uh, energy throughout our workday and how do we rest properly as well? The next module is about improving services because the best kind of marketing there is, is word of mouth marketing. And to get word of mouth marketing, you need to be a, you need to bring effectiveness and delight to your clients. And so do not fail. Okay. To, or I should say always fail, but always learn, but do not forget that one of the most important sets of activities in your business is the constant improving of the things that you're providing to your clients and the touch points of the, the client has with you along their journey of working with you. What are the different interactions you have with them and how can you improve on each one? So we'll talk about that in the, in the module of improving services. Next, by this point, my hope is that you will have been earning some revenue at this point. And then how do we steward our money wisely? 
I am not one of those business and marketing coaches that's all about, oh, you got to, to, to be successful, you got to be earning six figures and then seven figures. And then from there, it's always more, more, more money. I believe that what we truly need is not more, more, more money. What we truly need is to understand what is enough for us to live a profoundly fulfilling life, okay? And to experience, to, and to allow the money and the, 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 the lifestyle to really do our inner work, okay? To, to then tru truly grow. Because true growth is not just external money, true growth is internal. And so how do we, uh, I'm going to talk about money and not getting carried away with all the mindset about making more money, more profits, but rather making enough money. And one of those things is, is, to, um, is to modulate our desires so that we're not always desiring more things and more experiences, but to learn how to be happier and happier and happier with a richer and richer inner life. And so that brings us to our next final two modules, rather, which is to succeed authentically and to grow spiritually. And so in the succeed authentically module, we'll talk about how do we manage our success in a way that truly benefits the world and does not sell our soul. That we can, as we become perhaps more externally successful, that we are actually tapping more and more into the spiritual beings that we are, connecting more and more with our divine source so that we can find true success and grow spiritually, which is the most eternal and important and fulfilling type of growth that I believe there is. So I look forward to seeing you apply this curriculum and more importantly, well, as importantly, I look forward to your comments on what kinds of experiences you're having as you're applying the curriculum, what questions you have, what challenges you're coming across that I can help you or someone can help you solve, and also what learnings you're having, personal learnings you're having from, from applying this curriculum, and of course, what successes you are experiencing as a result of applying this, this material. So blessings to you, and remember, I'm looking for case studies, so I hope you will make an intention to be one of my case studies that I feature in my book as I finish teaching this curriculum. All right, I'll see you in the modules.